Hello everyone, I am Prakash Gupta and uh, I am Aditya's good friend. I am also an Amazonian from MBBS batch 2014, Ames, New Delhi. And uh, we received a lot of positive comments on the USMLE series. So today we have decided to cover the topic of clinical clerkships. So I just want to share with you guys uh, my experience as a visiting medical student. Uh, I did a clinical elective or a clinical clerkship at Harvard Medical School in the Department of Neurosurgery. So I visited uh, Harvard back in November 2019 and December 2019 and I rotated in two of their most prestigious hospitals, uh, the Massachusetts General Hospital or as they call it Mass General and Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. So today I'll be sharing my experiences when I rotated uh, at Mass General and this was in November 2019. Uh, so uh, like I was one of the lucky guys who got to do an in-person rotation, uh, an in-person clinical rotation before uh, like COVID came. So these are some of the photos from my trip. Uh, the first photo I'm, sta I'm standing with the statue of John Howard. The second pic I'm wearing scrubs, getting ready to assist on a case. Uh, I'm standing inside the Mass General Hospital. So uh, I also want to cover what a clinical elective or a clinical clerkship is because I think uh, not everyone uh, exact knows exactly what it is. So it is basically similar to what you guys do as a clinical rotation at your own medical schools. Uh, it is usually for four weeks. In this case, you just uh, go to one of the US universities and they give you hands-on experience. So hands-on basically means that you are allowed to access patient medical records, you are allowed to talk to patients, you are allowed to examine them, take history, look at their scans, uh, go to the OR, scrub into cases, assist cases. And basically you be have similar roles and responsibilities. As a Harvard medical student, uh, when you get accepted for a visiting medical student opportunity. This is uh, different from an observership. In an observership, you don't get uh, hands-on experience and it is not counted as US clinical experience. So I had to apply six months in advance for this. Uh, at that time, Howard Medical School, uh, they had a different application for it. And the fee, the tuition fee was like $4,900. It didn't include the accommodation and everything. So I got an uh, acceptance when I was doing my rural rotations as a part of last year of medical school in Ames. So within one month, I had to book flight tickets, uh, get my visa approved, uh, arrange for accommodation in Boston, uh, arrange for travel. So Boston has uh, something similar to the Delhi Metro. It's called the T. So you take a card and get a monthly uh, a monthly pass on it and travel through it. Uh, so Boston weather is pretty brutal. So you also need to prepare for uh, cold weather and uh, like windy, windy weather. So I was lucky when I arrived in Boston, the fall season was there. So like this is one of the uh, beautiful views just outside the hospital building. So yeah, this is the main hospital area you can see. So here's the Massachusetts General Hospital building. There's the Lunda building, which is newly constructed. And this had our wards and our operating rooms. So this is like uh, the main area where I worked. Beautiful building. So on day one, I had to do orientation. So basically they uh, train us on certain modules, uh, which includes uh, HIPAA, that is Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. So the US has some very strict patient privacy policies, uh, which are different from uh, some of the healthcare practices we have in India. We don't have as, as strict rules as US. And then there's the electronic medical record, which is different from what we have in India. So Epic is one of the companies uh, which deals with EMRs. So I had to take a six to eight hour long session, uh, training session and learn how to operate that. I also made new friends and colleagues. 
so the all the residents all the fellows were very friendly and i had a friend uh, from slovakia uh, who was also rotating with me on the neurosurgical service that month so my day was pretty busy uh, those four weeks uh, just flew past by very quickly i had to wake up at 4:30 am every morning so that i could catch the earliest t uh, to the massachusetts general hospital which was two stops from my home so the earliest t came around 5:30 am uh, i arrived in the hospital at 5:45 and then i had to prepare for morning rounds which started at 6 am from 6 to 7 we usually did rounds on patients with the residents and fellows which are on the neurosurgical service then around 7 to 7:30 we had breakfast and then we used to uh review the cases which are there in the operating room that day and we went to the operating room at 8 am so usually there were one or two cases and i used to return back home after finishing the last case on good days uh, the cases ended at 5 pm but uh, i have stayed in the hospital till 9 or 10 pm at times so these are some of the operating room responsibilities i had uh in the morning uh like uh, i worked with the residents on the case and shifted the patients from the pre op area to the operating room and then i scrubbed into cases and assisted in some of the cases uh, which were like uh the in the simpler cases they allowed me to assist with the basic responsibilities like suturing uh retraction and i was allowed to observe uh uh surgical videos from the microscope and the exoscope uh, when i was in the or and when the case ended we had to take the patient back to the post op area and do a basic clinical examination to make sure they were okay do the evening rounds and go back home so this is uh, a very beautiful view from the yoki uh, outpatient building this is on one of the sunny days this is on one of the cloudy days so here you see the long fellow bridge on my side of the river this is the charles river so on my side you see boston on the other side i'm sorry on the other side you see cambridge cambridge is the area which has harvard university and uh, mass uh, and mit on this side there's mgh and howard medical school in boston so this side is boston that side is cambridge and same in this picture and this picture you can also see the t so i used to live uh, like in cambridge and from there i used to take the t and cross the longfellow bridge uh, there was a beautiful view of the charles river on sunny days so i used uh, i got used to the view pretty quickly and it was uh, really beautiful so i also used to go to outpatient department which is uh, the clinic once or twice weekly uh, this used to be very different from the indian scenario so basically uh, the appointments were longer in india we usually have like 5 to 10 minute appointments because we have a lot of patients to see the patient doctor ratio is bad but here uh, the appointments were very systematic but the patients took uh, their own time so the appointments were like 30 to 45 minutes long uh, depending on the case and like even on busy days we used to see 20 to 30 patients per day so all the scans uh, all the health information was already available on the electronic medical record so you you can view all the patient information important to your case and go prepared for every patient uh the check in and check out process was very smooth because we had a lot of staff to help us with that which is unlike india where uh, we don't have have a lot of staff and the check in and check out process is not that smooth so these are the academic activities uh, that we used to do there were weekly grand rounds in the ether dome i'll be talking about the ether dome uh we had visiting professors uh who were very proficient in their area of research or uh, in in the kind of surgeries that they used to do and we used to get uh, uh different professors from other universities to give talks 
uh, once weekly uh, and that was really uh, useful in the residents and fellows uh, education uh, the residents and fellows also made case presentations and they also presented their research we used to have general clubs morbidity mortality meetings and for visiting students we also had uh, presentations and I, I gave a presentation on the management of incidentally diagnosed meningioma so there are many research labs uh, in Howard Medical School uh, there's the concept of surgeon scientist which we don't usually have in India so basically uh, people divide their time between the operating room and in the lab so basically they get protected research time that means they don't have to do research in their own personal time they do research during the working hours and there's dedicated time for that uh, so this used to be there so uh, these guys are doing cutting edge research in many areas like glioblastoma uh, there uh, like I was really interested in the immunotherapy for glioblastoma and did explore uh, that a bit during my clinical clerkship uh, spine neurosurgery functional neurosurgery cognitive neuroscience uh, you name it like they were doing cutting-edge research in all of these fields uh, this is another beautiful view of the Charles River from the Longfellow Bridge uh, during the fall so here you see all the buildings of the Massachusetts General Hospital here's a park which was in front of the hospital and this is the river so as you guys might be aware there's ether dome in the bullfinch building of Mass General Hospital this is the area where general anesthesia was demonstrated for the first time uh, to the world and I clicked some pictures from outside the ether dome so it says a student from distant lands or in distant ages like me who, who will visit the spot will view it with increased interest as he remembers that here was first demonstrated one of the most glorious truths of science which is true and uh, so right now the ether dome is used for lectures presentations and like all sorts of conferences so we used to have our weekly presentations uh, in the ether dome and I was lucky enough to present uh, my own uh, medical student presentation in the ether dome so yeah this is one of the photos uh, from my presentation uh, I put a meme in uh, in my presentation this is my picture here's me here's my friend from Slovakia and here's the head of the department Dr. Bob Carter uh, Dr. Carter was very kind and he invited me to his lab and he was doing cutting edge research and glioblastoma research this is uh, so now I'll tell you what I did outside the hospital the Boston Public Library is pretty beautiful here you can see it says the public library of the city of Boston built by the people and dedicated to the advancement of learning uh, here's me right outside the Boston Public Library is the view from inside the library it's pretty unreal but it's like really beautiful like it's so beautiful uh, you just really want to study when you go there uh, here's my photo from uh, uh, from I'm standing in front of uh, MIT so I also visited MIT during my clerkships and here's the USS Constitution uh, this is the oldest floating ship on earth and yeah I also visited USS Constitution during my trip uh, here's one of the snowy days so the winter can get pretty cruel uh, like sub-zero temperature so you need to prepare if you're going, going for a clerkship to Boston during the winter months and I was lucky enough to celebrate Christmas in Boston this is the view from the Central Park uh, Christmas tree yeah so thank you